What's good YouTube, it's your boy Joe and we are back with another video and today it's a little different but the title of this video is, let me get on my metaphorical soapbox, place it right here and take my step up. The title of this video is what happened to the sneaker game? Man, if y'all been in the sneaker game for a while, you know things just are not the same as they used to be. Long gone are the days where you can line up in front of the Foot Locker not get robbed, not get stabbed, not get shot, trying to get a pair of shoes. And also long gone are the days where if you didn't get a sneaker, you could just go into the store after the store after the release date and cop that shoe for retail. Or your homie said, hey bruh, kick me extra 20 bucks and I got you. It's that simple. Or it used to be. But I just want to give a few things that I feel like are wrong with the sneaker game. I'm not going to cut do any cuts in this video. It's going to be me, like I said, talking on this soapbox to y'all, the people, the community. Um, and I also want to hear y'all thoughts down in the comment section below. What do y'all think happened to the sneaker game? Before this even gets started, drop in the comment section what you think happened to the sneaker game. So for me, the first thing I feel like is resellers, right? So again, resellers have always been there. But now resellers are price gouging literally any, anything they can find. And I'm gonna say resellers in a total sense. It's not just sneakers these days. It's anything from PC hardware, sneakers, rugs, home accessories, literally anything they can get their hands on to make a profit. Back in the day, there were resellers, but they honestly just charge you a fee for getting the sneaker for them. Nowadays, it's I want to make sure that you cannot buy the sneaker, and at that point, I want to charge you 300 to 400 dollars over retail value so that now I can make a profit. It's not just hey, I'm securing your kicks, and that's it. And I think honestly, that's a huge issue. Now, don't get me wrong, I do still feel like it was necessary then and it's necessary now. For me, I was the type of person that, you know what, I couldn't cop this shoe. So I'm glad somebody copped the shoe, kept it on ice with the intentions of selling that shoe. Now, do I want to pay hundreds of dollars over retail? No, I don't. So I do, I am very thankful for those sneaker resale shops that do not price gouge. You know, shout, shout out to Shop Coastal Kicks. They are one of the sneaker retail uh, resale shops that, you know, you can get go in there and cop a shoe for a reasonable price price uh, but yeah that's that's the first thing resellers um, and, and I, these are in no particular order so don't feel like I'm taking shots at them first it's not that I got some resellers I really got love for because like I said they are doing it and they're doing it the right way they're not they're not price gouging the next thing I will say is honestly the suppliers Nike Adidas and I can't even say really Adidas anymore because Adidas is dropping shoes on shoes on shoes on shoes time and time again honestly i am thankful for adidas i wish nike would take a page out of their handbook every single sneaker that they uh, sell sells out but yet they release the same exact sneaker time and time again we all know the video of the guy who trades pretty much his entire sneaker collection for a pair of zebras mind you i paid 500 dollars for my zebras and looking at it now, I mean, would I pay the $500 if I knew it was going to release again? Probably not, but that's way better than selling my whole entire sneaker collection to get a pair of zebras that have released three to four times since then. So thank you, Adidas, but let's talk about Nike. Nike, you're doing it wrong. You know good and well that if someone, if you guys put Say you pre-ordered, say you did pre-orders, right? Say Nike did pre-orders and said, hey, you know what? Everyone who puts in for this shoe is gonna get their shoe, they're gonna be made to order, it's gonna take a little bit longer to ship. They would still sell out. Or if you said, hey, you know what? We're gonna make 30,000 more sneakers just so that 30,000 more people can have a chance to cop these shoes. Or we're gonna keep releasing these every couple of months so that everyone gets a chance to cop their favorite pair of Air Jordans or their favorite pair of Nikes. But you just won't do it. I honestly feel like you love the hype and the hype feeds the brand. But you're so big now that every single sneaker that you retro or put out is going to sell out. Maybe starting out that hype, the selling out, people reselling it, maybe, maybe at that point, 
you needed it but right now you really do not need the extra hype that comes around resales and limited pairs of sneakers you already have it with the brand collabs you already have it with the silhouettes you have it why not just put out more of the shoe at the end of the day if i'm going to spend 400 dollars with a sneaker reseller you could have literally had multiple people buy a pair of shoes that cost you nothing to make and you could have put that 400 dollars in your pocket but you won't do it so that is the second thing Re retailers they are a huge part of the problem if i really had to rank any of these that would be number one but anyway let's move into what i think it may be the third thing and again this is in no particular order you know those hype beasts who only buy things because they heard it was cool and then they knock things because it's not off-white or Yeezy or whatever the case may be because it's that that's not cool to them they just got in a sneaker game mom and dad can buy them any shoe they want they go into the sneaker resale shops and say mom I want this dad I want that and they get it while I have no issue with people's parents purchasing them shoes I take an issue when these people they come in jack the culture and then act like they are the culture oh how could you wear a pair of foam posits or who would wear that sneaker oh bro those aren't off-white things like that to where it's just like yo you're really diluting the culture and trying to steal from it that is like one thing honestly i just hate i mean as a sneaker um as a sneakerhead we know you know who's a real sneakerhead and who's not a real sneakerhead um we know who's just a hype beast and just in it to look cool and get some clout because they have some expensive shoes on their feet but I, i'm just here to say y'all are ruining the culture you're diluting it buy what you like and leave it at that no one needs to hear how much you spend on a pair of shoes and nobody needs to hear how cool you think a shoe is because it's super limited we don't care we don't care <laughs> um but next thing i would say and probably the final thing i would say is um uh, is top on this list i would say that you know just people who are getting in the sneaker game or the sneaker youtube game to talk about shoes like they're stocks i am sick and tired of seeing influencers say oh the stock is down on air jordan ones are they flopping is the hype gone you are literally creating this resale hype this is these are not stocks a lot of people sneakers to them are a outlet sneakers in them tell stories sneakers tell stories for me but y'all are here talking about them like they're stocks and honestly that is a, a one of the main reasons why these hype beasts are buying them up because you got influencers who are also hype beasts who got a little bit of clout because they had some money to spend and they got a camera and put everything on youtube and now everyone thinks oh man i can buy these i can make ten thousand dollars i can make a thousand dollars i can make 200 bu bucks like everything does not have to be a quick flip why can't you just buy what you like and talk about the reasons that you like it every sneaker does not need to be an investment now don't get me wrong if i needed the money and i had some crazy rare pair of sneakers and i'm like you know what i could sell these someone wants to buy them i would for sure sell those sneakers but i am not gonna get up here and talk about how oh the air jordan one make sure you cop these so you can flip them no cop them if you like them cop them if you like the color cop them if air jordan ones are the sneaker for you do not cop a pair of shoes with the intention of treating them like an investment you sit on this shoe honestly you sit on anything these guys sitting on a, I, I bought a place a ps5 uh camera because people thought that they could price gouge for you i bought it under retail but a lot of y'all are going to end up losing money on these things because you're listening to joe blow talk about how 
this is a sneaker you should invest in and whatnot, but they are not telling you this is not financial advice, which most financial professionals will say it is or it is not. They give you this advice, you cop this shoe, and then it's reselling for less than retail. And now you look stupid because you gotta go lose money or just return the shoe because you know you're not gonna make any money. Why not leave those, if you're not a reseller, right? If you're not a reseller, if you're just some regular dude sitting in your house, you don't have the means to fund this, this business, leave it to the resellers who aren't gonna price gouge, who actually love sneakers and wanna get them to the hands of the people who know what, they couldn't get them on release day, they had to wait a little bit, and now they can go get them, just spend a extra, couple extra bucks for the service. Leave it to them, because you don't know what you're doing, one, and two, you're listening to these people on YouTube who also don't know what they're doing. They are also culture vultures. So honestly, that those are the main things that I feel like are wrong with this sneaker game. Um, if you agree with me, comment down below. If you don't agree with me, tell me why. Let me know in the comment section. If you feel like it's something else or if you feel like all of my reasons were entirely wrong, let me know down in the comment section. I would love to have a conversation about what you all think has happened to the sneaker game because one thing that we all can agree on is that it is not the same as it was years ago and even before I got into the sneaker game. I know it changed when I got into it, but it's definitely way different than um than it was then so let me know what you think and as always please make sure you leave a like a comment and subscribe peace